What's the deal, y'all? This your man, King Eric, the media assassin, coming at y'all with another video. And, you know, going through my old files, I found something very interesting. I found an interview that I saved from TheFormula.com featuring MC Ren. Well, Ren talked about the later days of death, I mean, of Ruthless, where he wasn't really cool with Easy e like that. And also, probably joining the death row. Now, I'm going to read you guys some of it. I'm going to you know, see you give my thoughts about it. It says here, I wasn't going to, when I told Easy I wasn't going to do an NWA album, me and him didn't talk for like a year or two. Probably longer than that. When Dre was doing the first Chronic album, I was still talking to Dre. I would go to his house and be kicking it. That's why Snoop says on the intro to Chronic, what up, Ren? Because I used to be kicking it with them niggas. I told Eric and Dre that the problem was between them, and I didn't have nothing to do with it. I'm not about to be dissing neither of you. That's when, that's why I went easy, started dissing Dre. I wasn't in on that, and Dre was dissing him. I wasn't in on that. I was just neutral. So they also asked him, theformer.com, so how do you feel when you heard the chronic drop? <coughs> I heard the shit was tight. I remember when, I, when it first came out, Eric was in the studio going through the chronic albums and saying, man, that shit is whack. All the little groupies were around him saying, yeah, that shit is whack. And I said, nigga, that shit hard. Theformula.com. So there was no way you could be on the chronic? Yeah, because of all the shit that was going on. Then he also went down here and said this. This was interesting. Hold on, let me find it for y'all. Hold on one second. He also said, I forgot to ask you this, man. When Q dropped No Vaseline, what do you guys think about it? MC Ren, nigga, I was ready to mash. Niggas was mad. Like, oh, this nigga want to do it like this? I was mad. That was the greatest sneak attack ever. ever. Would you say that he won that battle? MC Ren say, nah, he ain't win. <laughs> How he gonna win? I ain't put my gloves on. That's like the movie Ali when he's in the car with Joe Frazier saying, yeah, but you ain't the real champ. I didn't get my chance. I never, I will never get my chance because me and him are cool as a motherfucker now. Even if we did, it probably wouldn't be like it would have been then. <laughs> okay. Well, this is where it get interesting right here. He said, so at this time, there were you and the Easy not speaking still. Yeah, that's why he wasn't on none of my albums and why I wasn't really on his shit. He knew we didn't have shit to say to each other, but he knew he could still make money off me. The only thing was that after we had the fallout when my records came out, they never pushed them like they should have pushed them. Because my shock of the hour, shock of the hour went to number one on the Billboard charts. But I didn't get no gold or no platinum plaque. If you go number one, come on, man. That ish was number one all around everywhere. They didn't promote it, and I think it had a lot to do with the ish. I was saying it scared a lot of people. It felt like a nigga got blacklisted or something. That's the vibe I got from niggas. It just seemed like nobody wanted to talk about that record, so what could I do? Then he also said this here. So... He also asked about the Villain of Black. He said it was cool. The only thing that was my budgets kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller. They wouldn't give me the paper I needed to create the albums. They was looking at it like if it didn't, if he don't want to talk to us and if he don't want to talk to us, then F it. That's when it went. But if I would have helped them this Dre, man, I probably got all kinds of stuff. <laughs> so that's why BG Knockout and Dre still kept getting promoted. Yep. If you could see, they got promoted more than I did. I was there for that long as the fake ass company. Well, that's very interesting right there. And it goes to show that they weren't in the best of terms like, you know, the movie depicted it to be. But let me know what you guys think of the comments, man. You think MC Ren would have actually fit on Death Row? Subscribe. Hit the like button. Peace.